Legend of Total War here with part 57 of my Call of Warhammer Rage of the Dark Gods Let's Play campaign as the Warriors of Khorne. Previously we conquered a few settlements, but more importantly um, Mordheim, which was the last settlement of Nordland, so they've been destroyed. Which is definitely good. My army here is really not in the best shape though. What the fuck is this? Shrine of Changes. That isn't in any of the other settlements. Anyway, let's have a look here what we can destroy. Heavy armor, leave it. Leave that. Alchemy school can be destroyed. Yep. Anything that provides any kind of benefit doesn't need to be destroyed, obviously. Unless I can't destroy it at all. Looks like there was a fair amount of... Um... What's it called? Chaos stuff already here. I think what happened, if I, if I had to have a guess, I'd say that Ostermark held onto this region at some point. And they, because they were Chaos, um, Nordland took it off them. If I had to guess. Uh, Stirland. Okay, this is the first contact we've had of them. Sylvanians were under siege by the, um, by them, but I don't know. I don't care. I'll defeat everyone. Okay, so we've also got these guys coming down. We'll... How far away is it? We can cross that mountain. We'll take us two turns to get to Gnashrak's lair. Alright, is there anything else we can go and conquer this turn? I think we've already used up all of their movement. Yeah, well, as far as the cannons are concerned. Uh, anything there that I can recruit this turn? No. Nothing to recruit here at all. Um, since the public war is under control, let's just get the... Um, get the barracks going straight away. Because we could always use more troops. Okay, I might send you, since I don't care about you, down here to have the scout. Fuck. Um. Um. Okay, then. Well, let's just see if we can actually take this. Okay, we could actually send this whole army down. Alright, well, let's take Valkyr and this and this, firstly. When she moves out, the public order goes to shit, but that's okay, it can be fixed. So, who else? Because this doesn't look like it's going to be a difficult settlement to take. We've got Ortwin France. I'm guessing that's Carl France's... Let me see. Son? I feel the spirit of Sigma within me. Okay, I have to leave behind at least one unit. So if I left behind one that's diminished like this... Public order isn't really good enough. Why is that being built here? Grab that. How many people live here? Quite a lot, so... Whatever, I don't care. I'm just gonna leave that unit there and recruit a whole bunch of others. Because I'm sending a full stack down this way. I'm gonna keep moving. I mean, we could fight Volton, but the thing is, is there's no profit in, in that... in fighting that loser right now. Like, if he was inside of a settlement, I wouldn't, um... Or in the way of a settlement, I wouldn't uh, try away from combat. But he's just out in the middle of nowhere, and it's just gonna—it's just a distraction. And we could destroy enemy factions entirely just by taking all their settlements. Also, last episode we killed Carl Franz. So the great champion of the empire put to rest in hell. All right then. So we just do what we usually do, because it works well. Like, why do anything else? Just variations of the same plan. I mean, until they come up with a, a way to bloody thwart me, I don't see any reason to adjust. I mean, when you get one unit able to kill thousands of enemy units, yeah, why not? Now it seems to me that if you destroy the gate, they don't put any units up here. 
which would be good. Because they're hard to get down. So first thing, blow up the towers. This is just a minor city, nothing special about this really, but... Whatever, we're going to take all their settlements. You start making your way down here. Let's see. Who's going to defend you? You and you and... You. Get down here. Okay, blow up this. Actually, no, no that's not important. Blow this up here, because we need to get the, the cannons going. If they want to come down here to fight, the um, the, uh, the blunderbusses will take them down. Then again, I'm supposed to uh, retrain these at um, uh, what, what Marienburg. That's it. Oh, fuck, they're already here. Empire Swords, any, any... Oh, fuck. A oh, bloody piece of shit. fucking here. Actually, hang on. Leave this guy behind. Put him in loose formation. Maybe they'll target him. Reinforce gate next. Actually, since they're not firing, it's a bit risky, but since they're not firing, get over here. We might just be able to shoot them. I mean, I don't technically need these guys for this battle anyway. Oh, what's coming in over here? Empire Halbert is. You guys stand over here along with you. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Shoot their archers more than anything else. That's what we need to get rid of. They're probably the biggest threat. That being said, it's going to slaughter them. And then they start shooting, but it's too late for them now. We're in position. These guys reload pretty quickly as well. You know, for, for firearm units. Micro boost from... Well, Micro boosties from vanilla, they take forever to bloody reload. Yeah, what are they doing? Are they going to come out and fight? It looks like they are. Come on, you fuckers. You really need to bloody get a move on if I tell you so. Oh, no, you're okay. Is he open the gate? Not yet. It's a guy who wanted the gate half destroyed as well. Oh, God, there's so much damage. We've already killed half the army. Getting closer. Come on, kill every last one of them, or else they're gonna fire back at us. It looks like you got them. Is this it? They're not gonna send any more over here, or are they. Hmm, they've still got a few crossbows. I've got no cavalry. But we have killed 74% of them now. Right, I have an idea. Because I don't even like these units, I'm going to send them up here just to get into a skirmish. Hang on, slow down. So I want to get rid of those crossbows before sending in the blunderbusses to, to wipe out the other two units. We've still got the greatsword bodyguard, but we should be able to handle him. Slowpoke, where are you? Oh, 
Get over here. Well, they're all being shot. I don't, I don't care about these whalers. We'll shoot them. Okay, I have an idea. It's probably not the best of ideas, but if I could just move them, like, in a really stupid way. Just so these guys can never shoot them. They're not, they're not quite in line properly. The shots are bouncing on the ground. There you go. Fucking leveled them to the ground. Good, I only really lost this battalion here, and I don't even care about them. Ha, <laughs> take that, you fuck. Wait, we're not finished yet. Um, we've still got, what are these? Empire Halberdiers. Easy to get rid of. Oh, and some spearmen. Or one spearmen. Good stuff. That was really good. That battle went very nicely. Sometimes you get fantastic battles like that, sometimes they, they fight back a bit harder. As long as we win every time, that's the main thing, we press on the, uh, press the attack. Blood for the blood god after all, doesn't matter if it's our blood that spills. My sacrifice will not be in vain. Yes it will. Sweet. The tide of chaos stretches even further. I didn't even know I had that mission. Pair this. Um, what's this jeweler shop? Yeah, we'll keep that. Yeah, repair that as well. Like I said, even though it's empire, and only increases tradable goods, just keep it anyway, because that's actually, we well, should be increasing the uh, the income of Marienburg. What? Reduced public order. Right then. And then build that. Anything that could be recruited here? Nope. Can I merge anything? Nope. Look at those whalers. They're here. So 32 of them survived. But the thing is, because they took so much damage, everyone else should have recovered. Because they were the last to take any casualties. Okay, and what about you? Can you get moving? Probably. But where are we going to send you? Looks like Beastman territory out here. But I don't know where the city is. Luckily we've... Okay, it's, that doesn't seem too hard. So what's this? Uglin Lord of the End Times. Excuse me, but I'm sorry, but we've already got a Lord of the End Times here. And his name's Archeon, motherfucker. Archeon, motherfucker. There's nothing here that's special. Just Beast of Gauls and... I guess these guys here are essentially just stronger Beast of Gauls. What religion do they follow? Other cults. Yeah, whatever. Um, residents of the Grand Theon Theogonist. Was that like the Pope? No hurry. Well, everyone knows how I feel about Popes. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Hang him by his own entrails. Okay, we're probably not going to have enough movement to get to Karaburg. But we've got enough to smash them. Alright, let's... Let's see, I'll leave these bitches behind and let's see if we can... Yeah, we can leave the city, it's easy. In fact, we can increase the tax rates. Coward. Hmm, we could come after him, but... Actually, yeah, you know what? 
Archeon would want us to kill this motherfucker. Archeon, I mean. I keep calling him Archeon. Problem is, when you get into a habit, it's sometimes hard to, you know, get out of it. I don't know how fucking anal some people get about pronunciation. I mean, you know who I'm talking about, even when I call them Archeon. So, what does it matter? God damn it. Do as I tell you. Okay, where should I put the cannons? I'll put them here. And we'll just see how we go. So they'll probably come... Oh, hang on. I've got a lot of cavalry. Let's organize that as well. That's not cavalry. Actually, there's not a lot of cavalry at all, but... It's something. Now, blunderbusses are really good against these guys, because these guys, they have absolutely no missile units, so we can just keep shooting them. Not like we've got lots either, but... It could take a while to bloody hit them. They're just pulling back. Oh, motherfuckers. They want to be annoying. Why do I choose this weather? I usually don't choose bad weather like this. Just about in range of them. The weather keeps getting worse though. Come over here. There's only one motherfucking lord of the end times and that's me, bitch. Probably not going to hit them. Well, maybe we will. I mean, these are beastigors here, so every hit that we, we get on them is actually quite good, because they do a lot of damage, these motherfuckers. How good the storm's passed. Another good thing about Medieval 2 that's not an Attila, weather changes in the middle of a battle. Because, uh, as we all know, storms and shit do not last forever. And I've seen in Australia a storm that's lasted five minutes. So, they don't last all day. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they last multiple days. Sometimes a storm comes through and destroys fucking heaps and heaps of shit. And it's only five minutes, yeah. And then it just completely dissipates. Maybe if I should aim for them. Bigger target. What if I just get closer? What are they going to do? They got no missile units. Start aiming for their general. See if we can kill him. So this guy here thinks he's the Lord of the End Times, does he? Brown beastie gold piece of shit. Mm, haven't really hit him at all yet. 
Come on. I only killed 5% of them. Sorry, just hitting the computer there, it's being noisy. Start bringing this guy in a little bit closer. Make sure we got him some some backup. Okay, he still needs to get significantly closer if he wants to shoot. What do we got here? Beast of Gores. I know that these blunderbusses can do a shitload of damage, and the Beast of Gores aren't exactly fast. Here they come. Make your shot fucking count. They did alright. I mean, Beast of Gores are strong units. I'm not expecting a miracle out of them. Come up over here a bit more. Just turn around quickly, hit them in the side. Come on, blow them up. Oh, fucking losers. Come on, shoot, shoot. Might want to be careful where I'm shooting them now. Come on, blow this up. It's too close. Get them back. Alright. Oh, good, get in there. Good, smash those gores, but then they're nothing special. Let's pull her out. And I think the battle's going very well. Okay, that's one general down. Which one is it? Rag Z one eye. Nothing special about him. Can we shoot this motherfucker here? Careful, careful. I'll be shooting my own bloody things if I'm not careful. Get over here, run them down. How are you going over here? Yep, everything's looking good. Because the bomb debuses actually did a good job on this battle, but that's that's enough out of them. No more shooting. So we've killed that guy, and there, Lord Uglin has been killed. There's going to be one Lord of the End Times, and that's me. Let that be a lesson to everyone else that calls themselves. Lord of the End Times. How do we go here? 97%. Don't really need to run them down. But do it anyway. I don't know if we've killed all their generals yet. Yeah, I'd say we have. Alright, good. About a 5 to 1 kill ratio there. So next turn we'll make our way to their settlement to kill them. I'm pretty sure the Beastmen actually started off as the number one faction, like the strongest one, with the most armies. I 
Ach, so genau, so ein Alright, looking good. I did really lose some ogres in that fight. Oh, okay, I didn't expect that, but not the end of the world. I hope this guy... I don't think he'll come after me. Oh, so they couldn't even hold on to their own settlement by the looks of it. Well, I've got a fuck ton of money. What to spend it on, though? There's still... These orcs out here are making me probably a little bit nervous, so let's just stay put for now. And just retrain our troops. See what they do. Hopefully, if, if everything goes well, they'll go and attack Delburs And kill that general that I can't kill. Or at least thin out the army so I can go and auto-resolve it. Okay, so you've got a full stack. You can move out to somewhere. Big goddamn beastman temple thing here. Which I can't seem to get to without having to fight him. Which could be a problem. What else am I going to do with him? I could send him over here. Over this way, I guess so. Okay, you don't have blunderbusses or um, uh, cannons, so we'll wait for that here. Where are your blunderbusses? There. Okay, good. Come over here, I need a watchtower. I wonder what's going on there. It's wet. We've got big portions of my land that I can't see anything in. It's not like these guys are essential at the moment for anything. I'm not desperate for their for their expertise. Now, am I able to train a general here? Corn chosen bodyguard. Yeah, and I'll use this guy to, for one thing, pick up these guys and go and build watchtowers because it's too much unknown. There could who knows? There could be elves in there somewhere hiding. I am the herald of the northern power. Archeon's here, but um, fucking elves, oh, not elves, what are these, vampire black knights. Oh no, I don't want to underestimate the uh, vampire accounts. Okay, I could actually just bypass them and make my way down to Nagenhof. He still doesn't have any artillery. No, that's fine. Let's get moving. Uh, I don't want to fight such a small army. Yeah, I do. It's only small. I have to fight it manually or else we won't wipe them out. See, this is the thing. Versus Attila. This game incentivizes you to fight the battles manually. If I were to resolve them, it will give us an average victory or whatever. We'll take more casualties and the enemy won't even be destroyed. We fight it manually, we can, we can get the victory that we want. The auto-resolve calculations in this, in this game were programmed correctly. Okay, how much cavalry do I have? I've only got really these two. If you can even call them cavalry. Oh, and Archeon himself. Archeon himself, I mean. Okay, I'm never gonna say it right. Um, now that I've drawn attention to it, everyone's gonna fucking make a note of it every fucking video. We're only up against archers, so it shouldn't be a problem. So that's how fast cavalry should be, not this bloody slow, or even... How is that called light cavalry? Free company archers will break, but I don't think skeleton archers will. Because they have unlimited morale or something.
But I think they're shit archers. What are you doing? Get over here. God, they're so goddamn slow that the charge is just pathetic. I really think that these juggernaut things just suck. guys from shooting because I don't want to lose any of my um, mounted demonettes. I mean they've got three hit points that's why they haven't lost any health uh, any people yet. Yeah, you go run them down. Sounds good. Even when you slaughter the enemy, shit, they just mowed right through them. Their charge was better than bloody Archeon's. Hey, what are you doing? Don't let them get away. We've already, we've already killed 85% anyway, so it's fine. They took some casualties though. But man, they just piled right through them. I guess they're only skeletons. Yeah, they fight to the death. him now. This is Kiel, and it's owned by whatever. Right. Anyway, make your way over here. It's good that he's finally got another full army again. Still, he doesn't have the, the units that I really need him to have. Okay, um, you've got blunderbusters, but you're really weakened. I'll have him stay here just for now, just to keep an eye on the situation here. Okay. What can I do about this? Nothing. I mean, I could build it up. I've got maybe 57,000 to spend. You've got to start spending it. Alright, let's start moving towards the, the next turn. I'll just spend the money that I've got. How long does that general take to recruit anyway? Just one turn. Fuck it, I might as well give him some additional troops. Since I've got so much money. I've even got more troops here. Let's get them moving. Just leave them behind. So I don't think I need these here anymore. And recruiting from here is probably irresponsible. It's nowhere near the front line. Alright, let's build. Oh yeah, this shit. Well, they don't have any artillery, so they We should be able to stop them. This is a large city. Doesn't look like it, but apparently it is. Look at that, it's got a different different thing in the construction queue when you put it in. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. I don't care. But everything is building something, which is good. It's good that we're getting to that point. Alright, I'm gonna have to check via the list to find any region that's not constructing something. It's a good indication that we're making a lot of money. But I could always use more. Okay, we're running out now. A 
the regions can still build the free building. They've got nothing else to do. To do, they might as well. Okay. Also, check the public order. So we've got Waldenhof. What's going on with that? Yeah, I know about that. Marienburg. It's all right. Nackdorf. All right. Well, that seems fine. Okay, then let's move on to the next turn. What would you have us do? So Mordheim is under attack, is it? This is. This is where we just managed to defeat the, um, what are the fuck they're called, um, Nordland. Volton's moved it back down there. We must not, under any circumstance, let these guys have this settlement. Because then they'll just get another free army straight away, I think. So three settlements come into siege. New mission, annex settlement. Oh, we, can't, we can't even do that. So, Waldenhof was under siege, uh, but that's okay. Mordheim, and then of course that other settlement, what's it called? The Dark Elves Camp. Alright, you better fucking make it here. Okay, now what would be the best way to deal with this? Probably a sally out battle because the sally out AI is retarded. No, I wouldn't be able to do it. I can't get around these flanks. But just out of curiosity, let's see what they've got. There is nothing. We shall kill them all, mighty champion. Okay, so he's, he's now the Asur Prince. So they've got three lots of Reavers. Bodyguards. What, what are they going to be? High elf bodyguard, so that's on horses. Yeah, they're on horseback. Hang on, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five of these bodyguards. Not too many infantry, it's mostly cavalry based army. It would be best to fight them as a sally out battle, but the problem is these guys here aren't going to be able to cope with it. I'm going to have them come in as AI reinforcements and I plan to squash them all in at once. We ha we, doesn't, we don't have to annihilate the army, but we have to kill Asur Prince Aramar. He must die. Kill, kill, kill. And hopefully if he dies, that is the end of the elves. Finally. I've been wanting them dead for such a long time. These... these this is the equivalent I've been trying to kill the Mongols. These guys just keep getting more free reinforcements. But we finally tracked them down and I mean even if we don't beat them, they will eventually fall because they just... They, what can they do now? But um, if I lost this battle it would actually be quite embarrassing so let's try not to. Okay, I'm going to keep myself here. They'll probably come charging at me if they had any brains because... Yeah, I might stay on the high ground actually. Oh, then again, they've got, uh, they've got missile units. But anyway, we'll, f we'll figure this out. So they're... Mm. My reinforcements come right from behind them. I think we just need to rush at them. Just fucking go for it. Be good if I had a few more lots of cavalry. What units are these again? Probably, it looks like Lothan Sea Guard. I think. Some archers there. We need to go for it as well. And you guys, if I can come over here right away, attack them. Like I said, the problem with this battle is simply their troops are better than ours. What the fuck are you doing? I tell you to come and attack here, it means attack them. See, I can see a lot of our units getting shredded there. Because they're just not performing themselves very well at all. 
And I, this is not the case where I want to waste their ammunition either. So yeah, yeah, if you can get them in combat, that would be good. Alright, that's... That's something. I'm not really relying too much on these reinforcements here, but any, any help that they can provide would certainly be appreciated. Okay, you need to start coming over here now. Demon nets are showing up. High health bodyguard. Stay put. They're gonna charge into you. Stings a little bit for my light infantry, but hopefully they can just keep them locked in combat. And I need my my demonettes to uh, hit their uh, hit their uh, reavers, I suppose. Of course, we're going to take lots of damage. I expect that. So sixteen to six percent. We're technically losing. Look, I wouldn't mind losing this battle as long as we killed the Asura Prince. How are we going now? I think we're starting to catch up a little bit. These plague bearers are way too slow for my liking. Try and get them out of that. Uh, I don't want you to die. If you die, we lose. How are they doing? They're, they're doing okay, I guess. Percentage-wise, we're not exactly catching up, but once we get rid of their cavalry, um, that'll make our guys feel a lot better, I'm sure. Uh, unfortunately, Lothen Sea Guy does spearmen. We can't just charge into them. If I can do it anyway. Guys, hurry up and kill these motherfuckers here. Another problem is I don't know which one is their actual general. I don't want to risk my guy. So, we caught up a little bit. But I think my demonettes are fucked. You, can we, let's get out of here. How are my reinforcements are going? Half of them are dead. Caught up a little bit. They're starting to shoot my general now. Fucking hell, he's slow. It takes him such a long time to bloody respond because they're so heavy. Okay, you go chasing after him, and you guys come fucking charging after after this here. How's my demonettes do doing? Not very well. They're about to die. Are we still winning? Oh, only by a very small margin now. We really need to get into combat with these Lothen Sea Guard. I don't think they have much ammunition, so that's that's probably helped a great deal. Marauder Axorus, if you can shoot them. It would have great, been great if I had more cavalry. It's hard to win when you don't have cavalry support. Uh, not necessarily hard to win. Hard to get great results without some sort of specialist units, I suppose. Look at that, they're running away. Good, I guess it's because their general's not very good. Yeah, you, try and get out of there and run them down. You kangaroo hopping demonette piece of shit. They're slippery dicks. Where'd he go? Get out of there. Ah, oh, I died. Oh well. Still got some cavalry left. Unit routes, no, it doesn't matter. Try and run them down if you can. I've got a, myself a big blob over here. Get rid of these loads and sea guard. Where is their fucking general? I need him to die. They'll fight to the death. Don't worry about that. Illyrian Reaver's running away. That's fine. Let him go. Have we killed their general? I don't think so. Oh, we've got a routing unit here. Oh, it's just part of the, the reinforcements. They're... Just a 
about dead. But they, they did what they were supposed to do, provide a distraction. Come on, run these guys down. I don't want them coming back. I think this is them. This is him here. Gotta kill him. And because my demonettes are gone, if he routes, that's a big problem. But he seems eager. Right, I need you to charge into the back of these and kill them. And break them or whatever so that everyone else can fight. Alright, good, he died. So that should be the end of the elves, but let's just um, let's just try and wipe out this army anyway. There's no one left there. Uh, don't you get killed in the process. Alright, get your asses up here. What are these guys doing? I'm being slow. That's typical. I wouldn't hire them again. They're too slow for my liking. I don't care if they are tanks. Alright, well, Alex. Uh, hang on. Before we end the battle, let me just run down some of their infantry if we can. Just to make sure that this whole army here is wiped out. I mean, it should be, but I just want to make extra precautions, just in case. Good, it was wiped out completely. Fingers crossed that is the end of the elves. That would be... That would be a good present for me. Because I hate these guys. And execute them and tell me this is the end of them. Got to be shooting me. They've they're still around here. I shall be the high What's a guy gotta do to get rid of the elves for fuck's sakes? Don't tell me I actually have to get rid of their navies, because that's bullshit. Their navies are invincible. Maybe I actually have to destroy this army here as well. But I can't get it off the bloody boats. Well, that's a steaming pile of horseshit. You just stay here just in case they show up again. Yeah, get some, get some better units now. I really thought that they were going to die that time. What's a guy got to do to bloody destroy them? I can't see anywhere else where they would be. Because they're definitely a people in flight, they've got no territory. And it says here, for victory I need to destroy the High Elves expedition. So, I don't know, it's got a- oh look at this, oh you bloody beautiful fucking piece of orc. Don't think you could get away from me! He's doing me a big favour by, by getting rid of that general there. If he does, which he should, I mean... Hmm. Well, we'll see. Who's this? Marcos de Bartage, whatever. Make a skull throne worthy of corn. Let's take Karaburg. Blood for corn! The slaughter is pleasing! Yeah, we should have this. I just hope the game doesn't crash. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, the game hasn't been that bad when it's come to crashes. There's only been two instances so far where the game has crashed because of some general dying in the, in the battle. Which, in all honesty, is pretty good because everyone said, Yo, be careful with this campaign legend, it's full of fucking crashes. And I haven't had that many. I really do think it's large, largely thanks to um, 
the large address aware. Ever since I installed that, the crashes have been pretty much minimal. Especially with stainless steel. Alright, so... They wouldn't have any missile units, and yeah, they just... Alright, just knock, knock this all down and then go blow them up. We could just send a dumb melee over there to kill them all, because it's not that many, but we want to keep moving, so... If you want to keep moving, the best way is to shoot your enemy. Or route them, but in this campaign, they, very few things route, and also we just don't like... We just lack cavalry. So... That's why I haven't really been doing my usual tactics, because the cavalry that we've got are garbage. They're either too weak or too slow. And well, in this case here, where they, they are actually really good, they're too expensive and too infrequent. It takes too long to get them. For me to have a full stack of demonettes, that would be very powerful, but fuck, I'd have to wait 200 turns to get that. I think it throughout... All the campaigns so far, I've recruited almost all deep mounted demonettes that have been available, and I think I've got maybe four in my whole um, army. Alright, let's see, we've got Nurgle chosen over here, I might use, oh, and also Plague Bearers, use, use these guys up. Because these Nurgle chosen, they're slow. Well, maybe not that slow. But these fucking plague bearers. I don't care if they're tough or anything, they're just too slow for my liking. I need mobility. Come on. Practically point bank range. Fucking idiot. Oh shit, they're sending something over here. It's okay, just destroy this and then we won't need to worry about it. Because they don't have any missile units. Come on, hurry up. What is wrong with you? Fuck's sake, about bloody time. Uh, don't shoot. I think that thing there is shooting, but it's okay, we'll get him off the wall. Now I really thought I'd see some Skaven in this army, oh, as in, um, in the Beastman army, but I haven't seen any Skaven. I haven't seen any Skaven at all. Doesn't mean they're not in the game, I just haven't seen them. You get your ass over here, along with you. Let's get ready to shoot. Good, yeah, doors aren't too tough. What are they doing now? Are oh, they going back up here? To get them off, all we need to do is block this gate. Getting closer, because you're doing a shit job of this. These guys are in your way. Perfectly aligned or something. Don't worry, we've got new motherfuckers on their way over here. But then they just ran back. Alright, good. You're pretty much done now, you can fuck off. These twists and turns don't help my blunderbusses, they need a straight line to shoot. But then again, they're just going back back there. 
Alright, get over here, motherfuckers. Still a big shame that we can't showcase the music, but those are the restrictions. I just don't have the copyrights for that. And to get it would be... I don't even know how they find it, to be honest. Need to get in closer here so you can help him. And you're getting closer still. For some reason, they're not shooting. Okay, get ready to go in there. This, just, this wasn't really going according to plan here. Now, you might be thinking, when you are using this uh, empty space here, it's actually not empty space for some reason. I can't go around there and I can't shoot them from this angle. But I think my guys are actually winning. See, this is the sort of situation where, where these guys actually do okay. And after they're dead, let's bring in these berserkers. Good, the plague bearers are gone. I didn't even like them anyway. How am I going to do this? I want to do this by shooting them, and whilst they've already shot quite a few, like, crap units, there's still so many, like, chief's guards here that we can kill. I think we might have to stay here for a few turns to rebuild our army after this. So we might just be able to shoot these. No, just out of range. It's kind of good that they've been lower in numbers now. Can do some more tricky shit. I can stop. You get in there and fight them. While they're fighting, they will shoot. Who else is here? You here yet? Yep, yeah, you. To stand behind them as reserves while they get shot. Good, this is what we want. Lots of kills. I don't care if they die. Shit, slow down. Time for you to get in there before they before he's gone. Okay, give us a good volley in there. Probably gonna shoot some of my own units, but we're gonna kill more of theirs. Oh shit, I need more reserves. Um, you get over here quickly. Hopefully they can hold out. I don't know, a minute. The prophets of Great Hashat foretell their victory will be ours today. I've only got a few guys left. Where are my guys? They're still on their way. Oh, we should be okay. I don't think we need them now. There's not much left. Good, we won. Of course we're going to win, but... Anyway, you know what I mean.
I bet those plague bearers come back. Even though I don't want them to. I don't mind if if the Nurgle's chosen to come back. They're a little bit better than them. Plague bearers. Sort of. It depends. Because they're faster. Slightly faster. Just every time I've been out in a field battle and we've sent the whole line behind to attack, plague bearers always lag behind. To get damaged, this but it doesn't matter. The sentiment's okay. We need to take Altdorf for the um, victory conditions, but this army here is just not in good shape. The good thing is, though, we could get some high powered units from here eventually. It takes seven turns before they'll even be available. Oh, look, we've still got one plague bearer left. What's this? Marksman range. Okay, yeah, we've got to repair that. What else we got here? Blacksmith, yep. Empire, uh, Council Chamber, get rid of this. And this. I feel like I just got rid of something I wasn't supposed to. Doesn't matter. Alright, so... I feel like I'm going to need troops here. What's this? That'll take nine turns to build, but... This is so close to the bloody Flamers of Cinch. Yeah, you know what? Let's build this. It will take nine turns, but if we can get some good quality units out of it, that could be worth it. Especially as we get into, you know, the capital of, of the Empire, essentially. All right, with that, we'll end the video there. So situation's looking good. We've got 74 territories. The elves have been killed, but they're not dead yet for some reason. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe, part... 58 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.